Hey, Divine Ones, it's LaToya Okia, your life coach and your motivational speaker. If you are new to the channel, I am a mindset and purpose coach, and I help women transform their lives by discovering their purpose, by finding their gifts, and by reprogramming their mindset for success. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button below, and make sure you click the bell so you can get your notifications every time I upload a video to the channel, okay? So I am out here in the car today y'all excuse the the face baby excuse the hair okay curls all loose and stuff but i had to just step out here in the car y'all because i'm a full-time mom i have a five-year-old an eight-year-old and a nine-year-old so i got them as comfortable as i possibly could so i could sneak out here in the car and do this video with y'all today so in this video i wanted to talk to y'all about a dream that the Lord gave me. And I actually just had this dream. I had this dream last night. Now, let me say this. Now, <laughs> I do not consider myself to be a dream interpreter, okay? So, y'all don't email me, don't inbox me, don't text me, don't, you know, hit me up like, Toy, you girl, I dream about a red monkey in a blue truck. What does that mean? I don't know, baby. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to tell you. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm not an interpreter of dreams. I can, you know, discern and interpret as the Lord leads me to. Okay. So, you know, I I may listen to it. And if I get something from it, I'll let you know. But more than likely, I'm not because I'm not. A, I'm just, that's just not me. I'm not a dream interpreter. Okay. So I just got to throw that out there first. Let y'all know that. Secondly, so getting right into the dream, y'all. I just, like I said, I just had this dream last night and I know that it was God. I know, let me tell y'all, every dream that you have is not God. Now, let me just let you know that sometimes dreams you have could be something that you ate. You might just have indigestion. You might've just ate too many beans or y'all might've just ate, you know, a few too many pieces of turkey or ham or dressing. And then, you know, you just done dreamed about some crazy stuff. So every dream that you have is not from God. You have to use your spirit of discernment to decide, is this the voice of God or is this just, you know, my mind going left or just, you know, a reaction from my body or maybe just something I ate or something I heard that day or something that I thought about a little bit too long or something like that, okay? So every dream you have is not from God. But I knew that this dream was from God because I know the voice of God when I hear it. And that's something that you just have to know through through relationship with him, through your personal walk with him. You will learn his voice and you will learn what it sounds like when he speaks to you. Because God does not speak physically like I'm speaking to you right now. But it is a spiritual unctioning that you feel from within. It's a, it's a spiritual feeling that you feel when he speaks. He speaks to the spirit in you. He speaks to the I am that's in you. And you just know it when you hear him. You just know his voice. So I was dreaming last night I had this dream about a woman and I had to immediately write it down that's how I knew it was God because as soon as I woke up the Holy Spirit said get your journal and I sleep with my journal right next to me right next to me so as soon as I opened my eyes the Holy Spirit said grab your journal and write this down so this is actually just in a mess because I was just writing as quick as I could before it left me because I, I tend to forget my dreams but I dreamed about this woman in labor and she was in a lot of pain and she was walking down a hallway and she was going into a labor room and in the labor room, there was nobody there. The only people that was there was uh, what looked to be her husband and a, sm uh, a small child of hers. And the woman was in labor. She was she was in like the hardest part of labor. OK, and she was she was sitting on the floor. And she was struggling with labor pains, trying to give birth, but no progress was being made. She had been in labor for, I mean, what looked to be hours, days, and nothing, nothing was coming forth. Like the baby was not coming. There was no progress, but she was obviously in labor, labor because her water had already broke. And she was on the floor in this isolated room. Nobody was there with her, but her husband and her uh, young child. 
And so she was on the floor struggling to give birth. Like I said, no progress, no progress was being made. This woman was in great pain and she was isolated in this room. There were no doctors or, or no nurses or no medical professionals in the room. She was in the room all alone struggling to give birth. And so what the Holy Spirit spoke to me, as soon as I woke, my, I, I, I never saw her give birth to the child. But as soon as I opened my eyes, like I opened my eyes as she was still in labor, I woke up. And when, as soon as I woke up, one word came to me, and that was greatness. Greatness. And, and the first thing I thought was, okay, because I'm saying, you know, when you first wake up, you're in that state. Your brain is in that state to where you're not really in consciousness yet. You haven't stepped into consciousness yet. So you're still kind of transitioning from one brainwave state to the next. So I had to kind of like gather myself first to wake all the way up so I could hear what the Holy Spirit was saying to me. But I believe that the Holy Spirit spoke that word to me as soon as I woke up because God knows the way our minds are. And he knows how we so easily to forget and it'll leave us. So the Holy Spirit said greatness. And then the Holy Spirit gave me strict instructions to grab my journal because I remember thinking in my mind, I was just kind of real sleepy and groggy. And I remember thinking in my mind, okay, I'll write it down when I wake up later. Because it was it was 5 o'clock this morning when I woke up. So I was like, I'll write it down later. That's what I was thinking in my mind. And then the Holy Spirit just kept nudging at me. Kept nudging at me saying, no, get up and write it down now. And I'm glad that I did because I wouldn't have remembered it. But I began to, you know, ponder with God and inquire of God to ask him, what does this mean? Because this dream was not like a dream like I normally have. Like this dream was so strong. It was so vivid. And then why did I hear that one word of greatness as soon as I woke up? Just greatness. And so what God told me was, he said, you are about to give birth to greatness. You are about to give birth to greatness. And this is what he told me. This is what he told me. I got to I got to look at my notes, y'all. The woman that was in labor is representative of you. And I'm speaking to you that are watching you that's watching this video right now. This word is for you. Now, yes, you should pray and ask the Lord for discernment and dis and, and get with God to see if this word is directly for you. But once you've done that and you've identified with the word, then this word is for you. OK, the woman that's in labor is representative of you. And this is what I tell people a lot of times. The Bible is not just a book of stories about a lot of people that went through this or went through that. The Bible is about you. Every story, every character, every character, everything that's in the Bible is symbolic of you. It is representative of you. It's, it's symbolic to your mindset, to your mindset state. Even the disciples that walk with Jesus, those, those people are representative of your mindset. There are different people that have different mindsets. You may have a mindset of Peter or, you know, you, you may be walking with somebody that had a mindset of Judas. So it's, you know, that related directly to Judas. So understand that it's not necessarily a particular person that the Bible is about, but the Bible is about you. It's only telling that story to get you to see something about you or get you to see something about your life. OK, so. The woman that was in labor is representative of you. The isolated room is representative of the place that you are in right now in your life. So you are in an isolated place right now in your life. You feel like you all by yourself. You feel like you all alone. The people that are supposed to be there are not there for you. You look around and you find yourself all by yourself. And then this is the worst pain that you've ever felt in your life. Many of you, you going through struggles, you dealing with things, you ain't never seen pain like this. You ain't never seen times like this that you in right now. And then to just make it even worse, you going through this all by yourself. You all alone, you isolated. But understand that the Lord strategically placed you in that season of isolation so that he could birth something amazing on the inside of you. Because God knew that had you been around those people or had you been in the company of the wrong people, they could have gotten you to abort your baby and listen to this because the baby the baby is rep the unborn child is representative of the greatness is rep is symbolic of the greatness that the lord has put inside of you the lord listen greatness has already been conceived it's just just like that seed of that child 
It's just like the seed from, from the father and the egg from the mother when they come together and they conceive and, and they conceive a baby. And the Lord say, that's the way your greatness is inside of you. You got to understand that you are great. Okay. You are greatness. Greatness is in you because greatness made you. So understand that the God that made you is greatness. He is the manifestation of greatness and you are his manifestation. So greatness has already been conceived on the inside of you, but it is your job to give birth to it. Listen to me. It is your job to give birth to it. And this is the scripture that the Lord gave me from this word. Listen, John 16 and 21. It says when a woman, when she is in travail, have sorrow okay because her hour is come but as soon as she is delivered of the child she remembereth no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world now you got to understand like i just said you are that woman that woman that is giving birth is you that unborn baby is your greatness. Understand that the trials and the tribulations in your life, they feel like labor pains because there's something amazing that's getting ready to come forth in you. There is something miraculous that's getting ready to be birthed out of you that y'all know I've been telling y'all to ask these empowering questions. Ask, ask the universe, ask God, ask yourself what is trying to emerge in me? In other words, what is trying to be birthed from me? What is trying to come through to the surface and come out of me from this situation? Because God does not put you through things just for sport. He put you there because he's trying to bring something out of you. He's trying to bring that greatness out of you. He wants you to give birth to that greatness that was conceived in your spirit a long time ago. It's been lying dormant in your spirit. And I hear the Lord say, this is the season for it to be born. Even though you're going to have to go through some labor pains even though you're going to have to be isolated even though you're going to have to be all by yourself and you're going to have to be placed into a season and a place in your life that is unfamiliar to you i hear the lord say you got to keep going you got to push just as that mother does you got to push and even though it feels like the baby is not coming y'all remember i told you in the dream the woman was pushing and pushing and pushing and she was in labor for, for hours for days and no progress and the lord said that's what it's like with you in your life today he said you are going through much sorrow to bring this greatness forth but i hear the lord say do not give up he said you came too far with this baby to abort it now don't you abort this baby. In other words, don't you give up on your dream. Come on now. Don't you give up on your destiny. Don't you give up on the promises that God has made to you. For the Bible says that all of the promises of God are yes and amen. So all you got to do is hold on to it. And listen, this is another thing that I want to tell y'all. You may be struggling. You may be struggling. But you're about to give birth to something. Listen, you're about to give birth to greatness. I want everybody that's watching this video to go down there in the comments. Write that in the comments. Say, I am about to give birth to greatness. you about to give birth to something amazing. You, If you hold on and you do not give up, you're going to see why the enemy was trying to destroy you. You're going to see why he fought you so hard. Listen, the labor pain is representative of the struggle that you have been enduring. So you got to know that when every time you go through a trial, every time you go through a tribulation, every time you go through something with your husband, with your wife, on your job, with them mingling, meddling co-workers, every time you're going through something with them, those are labor pains. Come on now. Y'all know all my mothers, you've been in labor. That thing don't feel good, but that's labor pains. And you know that nothing, that baby cannot be born except there be labor, except there be a process, except there be contractions, except that mother pushes. She got to go through the struggle, listen, to give birth to that child. Y'all heard what the scriptures say. She is in travail. She has sorrow because her hour has come. And the Lord say, your season has come. It is your season to give birth. Come on now. Glory be to God. It is your season to give birth. The Lord said you were born for such a time as this. Come on now. He said, I have sent you down to this earth for such a time as this. And the Lord said, your hour has come. You can't run from your greatness no more. Listen to me. Y'all know when you get pregnant with a baby, you carry that baby full term. When the time comes, when your hour is come, whether you ready or not, that baby is coming. Okay, whether you ready or not, that baby is coming, baby. And you got, if you ain't ready, you got to get ready. And I hear the Lord say, many of you, you're not ready. Your hour has come. It's your season, but you ain't ready. You somewhere over there with such and such doing what? Doing God knows what. But I hear the Lord say, you better get ready. Because God said, ready or not, it's coming. 
It's coming. Come on now. This baby is coming. Your greatness is coming. And you got to position yourself so you can get ready for it. Position yourself for the overflow. Position yourself for the increase. I hear the Lord say, I am enlarging your territory. Come on now. Y'all better share this video too because I hear the Lord say that this word is for millions of people. He said, I am enlarging your territory. I am expanding your dream. I am expanding your vision. I hear the Lord say, for many of you that are watching this video, I'm getting ready to expand your brand. Glory be to God. He said, the hour has come. It is your time. He said, all your life, you've been waiting on this moment. And I hear God say that you were born for such a time as this. All your life, you've been waiting on this moment. Your moment is here. Come on now. Your moment is here. Listen, and this is everything that the Holy Spirit was speaking to me from this prophetic dream that the Lord gave me. Glory be to God. All I heard was one word, greatness. He said, you are about to give birth to greatness. Listen. You going through the struggle right now. You going through these labor pains right now to try to birth this child, to try to give birth to your greatness. But I want you to understand that, yes, the struggle is real, but so is the God that will help you overcome it. Come on now. That struggle might be real. People love to say that. Oh, the struggle is real. You right, baby. But so is my God who going to help me overcome it. Glory be to God. Now, listen to this. I'm going to leave y'all with this. Listen to the rest of your prophetic word. Come on now. This is what the Lord say. He said, there are some people that are plotting against you. Listen, he said, there are some people that are trying to stop your dreams. There are some demons. There are some, there, there is some demonic activity that's trying to abort your baby. That's trying to kill your baby. That's trying to stop your greatness. Listen, the Lord say the enemy is trying to kill you because he knows, listen, he ain't even, he ain't even going for the greatness. Looking at, look at what he doing. Look at what he doing. This is what God said he doing. He said, the enemy is trying to kill you. Because anybody knows a mother that is with child is carrying a baby. If you kill that woman, you kill that child. Come on now. If you kill that woman and that woman and that baby goes without uh, blood supply, goes without air supply, goes without everything it needs from the mother for, for, so, for so long, that baby is gone. If you kill that mother, you kill that baby. And God said that's what the enemy is trying to do with you. He's trying to kill you because he knows that if he kills you, he can kill your dream. Come on now. If he kills you, he can kill your destiny. If he kills you, he can kill your purpose. But listen, this is what God is saying. The enemy wants to kill your greatness. He wants to kill your baby. Listen. And he's trying to get you because he's trying to take you down. He know if he can take you down, he ain't got to worry about your purpose. He ain't got to worry about that greatness that's getting ready to be birthed on the inside of you. He can't, he, he know if he can stop you, he can stop all of it. And listen to what God told me. He said, just as it was with Joseph, when Joseph began to tell his brothers about his dream, listen, his brothers, they didn't realize that by them trying to stop it, because see, they said, they, they, they plotted against him. They said, oh, we're going to see what becomes of his dream. Uh-huh. They went and tried to get rid of Joseph because they thought when they got rid of Joseph, they was going to get rid of his dream. But listen to what God was saying. God said they didn't realize that by them trying to stop it, they were only fulfilling it. Come on now. Come on now. The devil trying to stop you. He trying to kill you, but he don't realize that everything that he tried to do to you, it pushes you into greatness. It pushes you into destiny. It pushes you into purpose. Everything, every trick, every trap, every hole that he dig for you, baby. Because the devil done dug some holes for y'all. Y'all better say something to me on this video down there in them comments. Come on now. Y'all know the enemy been plotting. Mm -hmm. You know the enemy been scheming against you. He been setting up traps for you. He been lying on you. Then coming back around around to see if it worked but i hear the lord say everything that he try to do everything your enemies everything your haters try to do to stop your dream the lord say they are only fulfilling it because you about to give birth to greatness glory be to god father i thank you on today Woo. god i thank you for giving me this word from on high father i pray that this word will go forth among the nations that it will reach the millions of people that you have sent it down to reach for god you said that your word shall not go forth and return until you void but god you said that it will accomplish that what you sent it to do and that it will not only accomplish it but it will prosper i speak prosperity over this word i speak that this word will fall on good ground and it will bring forth much fruit and your greatness will be birthed. You will not abort your baby. The enemy will not kill your baby. I speak it over you today by the power and by the authority of my father. 
which is in heaven. Come on now. And I hear the Lord say, you might feel like you're by yourself, but God said the people that need to be with you are with you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because I had left that part out, but the Holy Spirit brought it back. He said the people that need to be with you, even though you isolated, he said, I isolated you from what you didn't need. And I left the folks in the room with you that you needed. Because y'all remember, I told you in the dream that it appeared to be the woman's husband that was with her and her young child. So even though she was in a season of travail, even though she was in, in a season of sorrow and she was giving birth, she was in pain and she was in labor and she was in isolation. God said the people that needed to be there was there. And God said everybody that didn't need to be there was out of the room. And I want you to understand that God has isolated you. But God said, look around at the people that are with you. He said, look at the people that's with you when you're in the trenches. Look at the people that was with you when you didn't have nothing. Look at the people that was with you when you was on that flow in labor, when you was crying out to God, when you was praying, when you was broke, busted, and disgusted. He said, look around at the people that stuck with you. God said, that's who going to walk in your greatness with you. Do you understand me? He said, that's who going to walk into your destiny with you. And he said, everybody else, forget them folks. Glory be to God. So understand that every time the devil try to do something to stop your destiny, every time he throw a brick at you, throw a rock at you, throw a dart at you, every time he try to, he try to uh, throw you under the bus, he set a trap for you. Every time he try to stop you from getting to your dreams, getting to your destiny, all he doing is fulfilling it. He don't even realize everything he do is just pushing you. Because you an eagle. And an eagle used a storm to fly higher, baby. And God said everything the devil do to try to stop your dreams, he just speeded it up. Come on now. He just sped that thing up, baby. Because God said just for that, he said I'm going to bring it to you a year earlier than I said I was going to bring it to you. Come on now. He said just because the devil fought you so hard, I hear the Lord say I'm expediting your blessing. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord say, I'm going to expedite this baby. I'm going to expedite this greatness. The Lord say, I'm getting ready to speed up your labor process. For many of you, you've been in labor for years. You've been going through trials and tribulation. You've been going through storm and storm and the rain and the hell and the sleet and the snow. You've been in the blizzard, baby. You've been everywhere with this thing. But I hear the Lord say, I'm getting ready to expedite your greatness. The Lord say, it's coming in three, two, one. Just because the enemy tried you. Come on now. Glory be to God. I have released what the Lord has put on me to release. And I pray that it blesses your life today. I am Latoya O'Kill. I am a minister. I am a mindset and purpose coach. And I want you to click that link down there in the description below and book a discovery call with me today. And we can talk about my services that I offer and what I can, what I can do for you as a life coach and get you to that next season of your life so you can be able to give birth to this greatness that the Lord has conceived in you a long time ago. Okay. So I love y'all so much and I'll check in with y'all later.